How you doing guys? A lot of people have been having problems and uh, getting these powertrain codes uh, P0171 and P0174 um, It has to do with the uh, lean mixtures for both engine banks I just wanted to take a second to go over some things that you should do uh, before making repairs on that um, A lot of the time the culprit is a uh, PCV elbow. There's one. This is a uh, Duratec 3.0 engine, by the way, for Duratec engine. But most times there's either a, uh, a PCV elbow, like there's one here at the front of the engine. There's another one at the back of the engine. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see my finger way down in there, but it's in the back of the engine here. You check those first. Check all your vacuum lines up here near the throttle body housing. Because a lot of times, you know, these little elbows here get cracks in them. Uh, these little stems break off or come out. Uh, but usually after doing that, if the problem persists, you're not really going to be able to get a good shot of it in here. But I can show you generally where it is. If you go to your EGR valve and look straight down in there, it's going to be blocked by this little uh, wiring harness. But right underneath that, is your PCV valve and this little hose here that I'm touching with my uh, forefinger that goes right underneath there and there's a PCV valve. Unfortunately, the only way you can really gain access to that is by removing this upper plenum. So that involves disconnecting, disconnecting the uh, EGR valve disconnecting the throttle body and the wiring that's attached. The, um, the idle air control valve you can leave on there. There's no reason to re remove that. But after taking that off and disconnecting the wire from this uh, manifold air pressure valve over here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight volts. I believe they're eight millimeter that you have to take off to get this upper plenum off. Once you have that upper plenum off, just be careful. You're uh, right underneath there, you have your fuel rail and you just have to be gentle taking the fuel rail off. Let's see if I can get you a shot of it in there. You might, well, here's the end of it here. The fuel rail runs right underneath these runners here. Uh, there's a few more bolts underneath there but just be especially careful when taking the fuel rail off because if the O-rings are kind of old, they will rip when you're either taking it off or trying to put them back on the top of your injectors. So um, once, you, once you've checked and replaced those two PCV elbows, once you've checked all the lines and made sure there's no leaks and chain that, changed that uh, PCV valve that's hidden down there in the valley, you should not have any more issues with the engine running lean or getting that P0171 or P0174 code.